from dance to construction, I've got the scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Centurions. Welcome back to another edition of the Inside Scoop. I'm, Vic I'm Victor Garcia, and today is Thursday, May 16th, 2019. And to start off, have you any of you seen the new paintings that the students did on the wall behind the 300s building? Well, here in studio is Amanda with some of the artists behind the painting outside. Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, it's your girl Amanda back at again in the studio with some studio guests. Today's guests are two students, Stephanie Garcia and Ruby Huerta, from Mrs. Olsen's art class. And I have got to tell you, they're like young Picassos. I don't know if you interns have seen the wall behind the weight room, but they have been working very hard on these beautiful murals that took how long to paint? 18 months. Wow, amazing. And please tell me your inspiration for these works of art. Um, it just came out of the blue. It was really, I don't know, it was a really good uh, experience throughout the whole year. Um, we got the teacher's help and stuff like that, and she came up with a lot of, most of the work. I just helped paint. Stephanie, what was your inspiration for your mural? The message behind would be the dreamers, what's going ar around, and then we just brought in images that we had, and we got the That sounds amazing. I couldn't even do that. But what is the overall goal with the mural wall? Just to keep the tradition going. Just keep it going. <laughs> How long has this tradition been going on for? Um, since last year. Yeah. So this is our second year doing it, and we hope to keep along the tradition. I know that. Beautiful. Well, that being said, as seniors, do you guys have any words of wisdom for your lower classmen? Um, continue with art. It's amazing. It's like something you can not even explain with the words simply just keep it going and show us what you got <laughs> you heard it here centurions i am so impressed with all of your talent and i hope that we can continue this tradition in the long run thank you all for coming in today back to the anchor thank you amanda and if you haven't yet go on out right behind the 300s buildings to check out these paintings all along the wall and yesterday, the Centurion Dance Team had their dance concert after school and in the afternoon. Anna and Jessica went out to record for those who missed out. Hello and welcome back Centurions. I'm Jessica Solis from the Inside Thank School. You, and we're here in the TCC recording our dance team performing. <laughs>
Dance and Dreams. That was it. After all, our dance team did a fantastic job. Uh, good job to all the dancers who showed their talent yesterday. And attention, ladies and gentlemen, if you are interested in playing for the girls' soccer team here at Century High School, there will be a mandatory meeting Tuesday after school. The meeting will take place in Coach Coach's Butler's room in 50, room 5114. If you have any questions, go see Coach Butler. And the fourth annual readathon uh, will be held this Saturday the May 18th from 8.30 to 12.30 in the library. This year will include a spelling bee and a cuckoo game for added fun as in previous years. There will be a drawing at the end of the event which includes prizes and such as gift cards to some of your favorite locations. You don't want to miss out. It was an almost sold out event last year. So make sure you RSVP to your bestie so that he or she could join you in the fun. That's this Saturday, May 18th from 8.30 to 12.30 p.m. Don't miss out. And attention Science Club members. Science Club will be meeting today during both lunches in room 403 as usual. Last week they had the pizza party as the start of the end of the year celebration for the club. This week they continue finishing off the year as they are going to have an ice cream sundae bash. So get ready to pick out on your choice of ice cream flavor with your favorite toppings. And there will be two topics to discuss. The end of the year activities and tentative plans for next year. So bring in your lunch, sweet tooth and ideas today and during lunch. And attention junior century will be having a summer college boot camp. Please see the link on the flyer and sign up. Space is limited to 20 students currently for Century High School. The dates will be June 3, 4, and 5. Do note, this will not conflict with summer school and transportation and food will be provided. Attention 9th through 11th graders, if you will attend summer school, please listen to the following information. Summer school session one will be from June 3rd through June 20th. Then session two will be from June 21st until July 11th. Attendance is important. If you miss more than two days, you will, will be dismissed. So check in with your counselor to register for classes if you haven't done so. Classes here at Century include Arts of and Graphics, English 9 and 10, Online Credit Recovery for History, English, Math, Algebra 1, PE, and much more. So please be in contact with your counselor if you need to sign up. And seniors, signing day, reach, higher event will be held tomorrow, Friday, May 17th, during your lunch period. By now, you should have gotten your invitation. Make sure to wear your college gear if you have any. You will check in with the blue invitation paper that you received and walk along the red carpet with the school name and goal you have selected. You will have an opportunity to sign the big, gigantic senior poster and be part of a senior puzzle. The cafeteria has prepared a special menu just for you. The last 10 minutes of lunch, we will have raffles and special recognition. Lastly, we will have such all of the partners such as College Bound, NAC, Talent Search, Upper Bet, Upper Bound, EAOP, train you on. Any questions, please see Mrs. Sanchez in the Higher Ed Center. And yesterday, the construction trade class went on a field trip to a local carpenters union, and I went along the way. So one of the greatest perks of being in the building trades construction class is that you are able to go to field trips. Today, the students went out to the Southwest Carpenters Union, as you can see in the pictures. They got to see the training facility, the classrooms, what it takes to join the union. Uh, they got to learn what it takes to learn firsthand. And also that joining the union is a alternative to college. go so here in the classroom we are currently doing drywall and as you can see in the following clips it's a great opportunity to learn how to use this material being that it is in everyone's homes and if you get the experience you might be able to fix your own home okay. Okay. So 
Well, the 2019 yearbook is now on sale. You can get the yearbook at the ASB window. The theme for the yearbook is for the record. You can buy it online if you want to customize yours with the name on the bottom for not much more. The price currently is $85 and you can still purchase yours until the end of June. And anyone who's interested in trying out for the girls or boys volleyball programs, please attend a mandatory meeting next this Thursday, May 16th in the library. The meeting will be right after school on this Thursday, so write it down in your calendar. And just as we said earlier, it's nearly at the end of the year. That doesn't mean you are done 100%. You still have a lot to do and are expected to be on time and ready to learn just like at the beginning of the year. And the last centurion car drawing of the year, including the bike giveaway, will take place tomorrow here on the inside scoop. So all centurion cards need to be turned in to Martha in the Wellness Center, which is the new name for the Parent Center today. I, re to re I repeat, all centurion cards need to be turned in at the end of the day today. By the way, anyone who is interested in trying out for the boys and volleyball programs, uh, please know that the meeting will be today right after school in the library. And we want to end today's broadcast with a video that might interest some of you. Here's a video of me showing you guys around here at the Inside Scoop studio. Are you a student who's interested in joining the Inside Scoop broadcast or the Beyond the Scoop podcast? Well, I'm here to tell you that there is a great opportunity for you next year to hopefully take one of those classes if you are interested. As you can see right next to me, here we're standing to the famous anchor desk where you guys see the Inside Scoop daily in the morning. Uh, here's the green screen where all the backgrounds are put on, you know. Right here's where we have live anchor desks. Uh, here's all the camera equipment that we have. Uh, we need people who operate the cameras. We need people who anchor at the desk. We need people who work the stage, uh, uh, stage manager, working the TVs back here. And as if you follow me back over here, you can see that there's even more job positions required for the class. We have the backgrounds. We have the prompter who controls the speed of what the, um, the anchors read the script off of. You could go fast, you could go low, slower. We need one person to control that. Here we have TD, the one who switches the videos, pictures, whatever you need, uh, it switches it. And we have right here where the director controls everything, where they speak out to uh, people outside. Next we have audio, right here's where you hear the music in the morning. Uh, where everyone controls the volume of whatever it is that goes out. Next, we have uh, shown here and broadcast it out. And as you can see, it's a very complicated uh, layout here in the room, but it's so simple if you put your mind to it and you practice. What we need is people who are dedicated to be here on time every day. And if you, you don't have to anchor, but if you do anchor, it's a great opportunity and you really get the experience of being in front of the camera so if you want to join it's not mandatory you anchor but if you wish to step outside your comfort comfort zone then i would strongly recommend being that i was an anchor for two years and here's a look at what the scoop is and as well we also recommend joining the podcast class called beyond the scoop they will be recording their um, podcast and uploading them online they're, they won't be live, but that's still a great opportunity other way. So if you guys are interested, please talk to your counselor on how to join. The trends, that is it for today, today's broadcast. As always, remember to focus on your goal and don't look in any direction but ahead. Bye.